Hey guys, deja vu, we're back again. Sorry, had a little bit of technical difficulties uh, and it was not going out to all of you. We were sad, so we stopped it, brought it back just for you guys. Today on the Bluefin Hangout, we're going to be talking about the Mandalorian and the Misha line in general. Mandalorian is, uh, you know, we all love the show, but what we really want to spotlight is this amazing movie realization Mandalorian figure that is available on Premium Bandai US right now. Uh, it comes with the amazing, the long rifle, it's got it's got the blaster pistol, it's got the short sword, and what I love the most, cloth cape. I am a sucker for cloth capes, just love them, love them, love them. You know, whenever I whenever I get a figure that's got a cloth cape, any kind of mixed media, I just, I just adore it so much. So head over to Premium Bandai US uh, and pre-order yours. Uh, they're going to be shipping in March, uh, which is just right around the corner, right around my birthday. So if you're looking for a birthday present for, for good, old, uh, good old David, you know, the Mandalorian May Show, you could do worse. Uh, so... Definitely check it out. They're all so amazing. They're so detailed. They're so articulated. Uh, you know, we got Vader, Kylo Ren, and the Stormtroopers here, and they're just they're just so much fun, and they just catch the eye. So definitely go to PremiumBound.USA and pick it up. But uh, today we got a crack another Cracker Jack panel. Uh, we got the man with the plan. We got Justin, who uh, who kind of runs the show, makes sure everything goes smooth and stuff like that. <laughs> and it fails. <laughs> ca ca catches the mistake, you know, two or three minutes into the stream. It's like, wait a minute. No one can see this right now. <laughs> uh, so, Justin, thanks. How are you today? I am fabulous, man. Looking forward to, to playing with your little toys over there, man. You got some good stuff. Awesome. Then we got AJ. AJ's going to be uh, monitoring the chat, so be active in the chat and uh, make sure to uh, be nice to AJ. He's a, he's you know, a nice shout guy. out to Kadri right now. Like, you know, everyone's saying a more hello. So, hello, Kadri. Awesome. Hey. And, and, Clark wasn't here last week, but he's here today. David Clark, how are you doing today? I, I have returned once more. I'm looking forward to talking about this thing that apparently was in the room with me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, Mr. Clark was actually in this very room yesterday, and the May Show box was sitting like right around here, and he was standing right over here. And uh, if you can, he was there. I'll be back. <laughs> in the day, so. <laughs> it will, it will, we will we will put it in the box and hide it somewhere else. We'll make it a fun game. Can Clark find Ooh. the May Show figure? <laughs> so, <laughs> let's just, <laughs> so let's kick it off. In the chat, if you guys want to let us know your, your history with May Show, we would love to hear if you have any figures, what figures you have, what figures you want to get, and most importantly, what figures you would love to see added to the May Show line. You know, so far it's it's mostly bad dudes and questionable like Ronin type characters. Uh, but, you know, we got C-3PO was our first, quote-unquote, good guy. Uh, and uh, hopefully we can continue that part, you know, because troopers got to have someone to shoot at, right? They're not going to shoot at each other. they got to pew, 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 over there. So, they might. Uh, <laughs> They're pretty <yeah>. terrible. <laughs> Those true coats. Uh, so, 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 David, what would you, who, who would you love to see that's not currently in the Misha line? Who would you like to see added to the Misha line? Oh, that's easy. Revan. All day. Mm. Revan. Just, just give me Revan. I, I will accept Darth Bane, but uh, I would prefer Revan. <laughs> I'm not I'm not hard to please. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just want some of these sweet Sith Lords. <laughs> was, was your Revan, uh, uh, did you play the game as a male or a female in um, Night Still Republic? Uh, I, I watched a friend play it, but he played as a male. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Good Light or dark side, though? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> <Dark side. laughs> With his red background. <laughs> Dark side. What a, what a dumb question, David. <laughs> I know. You know, I was always partial to Darth Malak. I really liked how he didn't have the jaw and he was really scary and he had like that red duct tape all over his body. He was gnarly. Yeah. It's a costume right there. Yeah. When, when I played Co yeah, when when I played Kotor, I played I wanted to play Light Side because I watched Justin play his Dark Side. And I was like, well, let me see what Light Side's about. Light Side is like ten times harder because every mission where Justin was like <laughs> Someone's like, hey, if you help me do this, I'll give you, you know, 100 credits. Just to be like, no, nah, I'll just murder you and take the 100 credits. This is the bad guy. I got to go on this, like, fetch quest to, like, go save, go get his sister, like, milk. And then, like, escort his sister through, like, the, the most gnarly part of the town back to him. And then he's like, oh, I don't have any money. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and then, like, oh, I know you're lying. My buddy played and he killed you and he robbed you. So now you got the money. Now you're, now you're just hosing me. And I was like, oh. It's brutal. Sorry, this isn't a KOTOR podcast. <laughs> Justin, it could, what, be. Who, it, should, it could be. We could do that. Who would you like to see added to the Misha line that's not currently available? 
Oh man, I would like to see a May show job of the hut. <laughs> oh, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'll take I'll take a May <laughs> show Luke Skywalker. How about that? <laughs> no, no, I think that's great because I'm like, wonder what they would do for job of the hut. You know, like he's a different. T- he's not a like you know humanoid looking character or anything. So, you know, what could they do? And I want to see that. So. Yeah, I'm picturing like this awesome gnarly carriage with like all these spears and crazy things, and he's just kind of right. being like pushed along like a like a mm-hmm. wheelbarrow or like a rickshaw type deal. And <laughs> would he be humanoid or would he be like some kind of slug beast? I want him as a slug beast with the crazy mask and helmet, <laughs> with like um, protected parts <laughs> from the armor on his on his uh, vulnerable little wormy body, <laughs> like the especially especially the neck area. That's that's where yeah, he needs uh-huh. the protection. Yeah, I mean, you want to be a little, like, a little tight so he's uncomfortable, you know? It'd be good. You look at him, he's like, he doesn't have a neck. You can't choke him. Lay a <laughs> She found a way. Uh, now, AJ, since Justin stole your job of the hut, I'm going to make you pick another character. Not at all. Uh, I mean, if anything, I would like to see some good guys. Uh, someone in the chat had said Akbar, uh, which is, I know, your favorite characters, but. I think I'd like to see like something where like a Han Solo type character, uh, maybe Princess Leia. You know, we'll get like some diversity on there. Uh, that would be kind of cool to see. Yeah, I uh, obviously Akbar is my favorite. Uh, <laughs> you know, they did show off Akbar at New York Comic Con in 2019, oh. so hopefully that'll come to fruition. So I won't pick Akbar. I'm gonna agree with Chris, Chris Cooper in the comments and say Emperor Palpatine. But like really done up like a traditional like Japanese emperor, like not yeah. a black cloak scary guy, but like totally like <laughs> ornate, like just gold with a headdress and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Um, with a throne, yeah, the, throne, the throne. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I would like to see on Jabba the Hutt too, like just some kind of throne. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, we also could use more droids. Like I like to see like weapon carrier R two D two, where it's just him <laughs> with a bunch of weapons attached to him. <laughs> Yeah, C three P. All right, he, he, yeah. he, needs he, he needs his homie. I think that would be yeah. cool. <laughs> or to take it back to take it back to Code Tour, you get HK forty seven. Oh, this yeah. killer assassin droid type Jesus. guy. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Yeah, just loaded the bear. There's there's so many things that I, I really want to see. Like I I, I love Ahsoka. Like I love mm-hmm. seeing how they how they pull off, pull her off. If they ever did uh her animation. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, Actually, great. I want everybody. Just give me everybody. <laughs> <laughs> give me all the possibilities are endless at this point. I'll get back tomorrow. Thank you. Yes. Just keep making them, right? <laughs> yep. Uh, it would um, be- I was going to say, I have a bunch of pictures of the our display from New York Comic Con. So I just emailed them to myself so I can throw them up on this um, stream. So nice. we can look at nice. Akbar and the crazy Ooh. little getups that we had going on. Oh, yeah. There's New York probably Comic-Con. some people who have never seen it. So. Yeah. Yeah. It would be cool since we've had. Yeah, since we've had Boba Fett and Jango Fett now, the, the Ronin Mandalorian, uh, you know, we showed off IG-88 at the same time we showed off Akbar. Uh, so it would be cool to get the whole Bounty Hunters thing from Empire Strikes Back. You know, it's like a Bosk and a Dengar, Forlom and a Zuckus. Uh, that could be pretty cool, too. Yeah, okay, yeah, man. A sucker. And then they can all be scared of Darth Vader because he's cool. <laughs> The true hero of Star Wars. I don't know about all that. <laughs> guys. Okay, the Jedi had problems, and he ended them. Uh, oh, they were they were stealing babies, and they, they were they, they were letting you get married. They were they were babies. It, it was kind of a cult, and and Anakin was like, "No, I'm gonna get married, and you're not taking my babies." Right. <laughs> I mean, he did kill a lot of babies, though. <laughs> there was some trade off going on the between the result, The results were great. Yeah. You know what they say about making an omelet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My goodness. This and dark... I'm terrible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, let, let us bring it back up. Let's talk about something cuter with the younglings. Talk about, you know, Baby Yoda slash the child slash Grogu. You know, uh, what would he look like as, as a Maisho figure? Any thoughts? What, what we could do with this, this adorable little cuddly guy? He's got him in his. Yeah, I want him in a spiky yeah. carriage, and I want it to be amazing <laughs> with like these old like wooden wheel type deals. Uh-huh. And I think that'd be, and maybe like the little ball like kind of dangling above him, like uh-huh. um, those little carousel you know, things. You, you, you know how like they used to carry like like royalty, like in those like those little uh, little mobile. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, those 
put him in one of those and then have like four stormtroopers like carrying the pole. <laughs> yeah, that'd be rad. That'd be kind of cool. With the Mandalorian just right in front of him. Yeah. <laughs> so Chris Cooper is like, oh my gosh, can you imagine Moff Gideon with a black saber as a? Oh. You know, that would be really cool as well. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah, that'd be cool. Anyone with a blade, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, Everyone. 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 I'm, I'm, yeah. Guns are cool, but lightsabers, you know, they're just mm-hmm. yeah. the coolest. And stuff we do like need that. more we do need more Jedi though. Like I would love like Mace Windu or something. That'd be pretty cool. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, there they are. Ooh, that was pretty cool. I remember that one from New York Comic Con that was on this awesome display. Hey, you guys remember conventions? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully soon. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to do San Diego and get down there and uh, have some fun. I missed that last year. Yeah. Oh, one day. Is that, is that the only picture? No, I got a bunch. Hold oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, all right. Well, I heard there were pictures, plural. Yeah, yeah there was an S involved. I know. Yeah. There, there we go. There's like the the groovy oh, yeah. dudes. The spyglass was pretty cool. That that didn't come with a figure. That was just an added prop, but I liked it. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Was New York Comic Con 2019 your first show with us, Justin? It was. And yeah. I was at the Crystal Palace hanging out over here at the May Show booth and having the time of my life with this amazing <laughs> loop going on. Of This is 15 second song loop where it was like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and um, it was right in my face and it was amazing. It was fun. So yeah, every, every day when I go out to check on him, the the speaker would get farther from him. It would it would, it would turn away from him, and the volume would be like ten percent lower. Yeah. By the last day, it was like it was basically in like a whole other booth area, and it was like a whisper. And I remember Twan being like, "How come I can't hear this?" Just screaming at max level, and like, ah! yeah. uh, my yeah, ears. <laughs> It was truly, it was truly the pain of your existence. Um, yeah, so uh, the, the man, obviously the Mandalorian. Oh, there we go. That's the good one with everybody on there. Oh, yeah, that was cool. That is a groovy display. That is pretty cool. Whatever that, that display is. <laughs> hey, can I have it? I'll, I'll store it in my house and I'll bring if it back. If you can find the Mando in the office. Sure. Yeah. I'll I'll hide the Mando inside the box with this diorama in it. (laughs) Yeah. You know, the cool thing about these figures that we haven't touched on yet is they photograph really, really, really well. Yeah, they Um, do. Anybody Mm -hmm. that has an Instagram or whatever that takes pictures of these guys, they always look amazing. Even if it's just in your backyard or on your shelf, it doesn't matter. They photograph so well. And and they they catch the attention really well. So if you are an Instagram photographer and you're looking to get some attention... Uh, you know, definitely pick up the main show because as you're scrolling, you know, all right, I've seen this figure, seen this figure, like, why is this different? <laughs> mm-hmm. And uh, and yeah, they're gonna check out, they're gonna ask you questions like, did you make that? And you're like, no, I bought it. And then they'll be like, oh, I want to buy it too. <laughs> How convenient! Right. No, oh, so here, here's, here's, here's my here's boy. Akbar. There it yeah. is. This is my first time seeing Akbar. What? Really? Yeah. I oh. was in a whole other building. Remember? <laughs> oh my god! I was on the I was on the inside. <laughs> So what's what's cool about Akbar is um, his the soldier's face is actually inside the mouth of Akbar, and then his hands he are they're actually gauntlets. You can see that he has closed fists um, in, on the figure, and so those are just weapons more or less. And it looks incredible. It's a showstopper. Yeah. It's a game changer. Ooh, and they got IG eighty eight right next to him. Yes, nice. I want that golden wall like. Right. Scrolling behind it, like that <laughs> needs to be a thing as well. No, that's oh, really yeah. cool. That's amazing. And it comes with a little fan thing underneath them. It's not a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> right. Did someone think it was a guitar? <laughs> no, I just from uh, from here it kind of looks like I'm like, is it come on, the guitar? And they're like, oh no, it's like a, <laughs> it was like a like a decorative fan, like uh-huh. because he's a general. Yeah, he looked, it looks pretty cool. I would, I would buy that just for the memes. <laughs> for the memes. <laughs> I've already committed to buying like a hundred. You know, I have to. And uh, oh. the designer, who I'll make Justin pronounce the name. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, look at that. A <laughs> May Show <laughs> Justin. <laughs> yeah. One one scale Justin. Yeah, there you go. That was so, uh, Celebration. Uh, Star Wars Celebration, what, 2015 probably? Yeah, in Anaheim. <laughs> you, yeah. Clayton. We, we, 
was saying do you see may show expanding into other properties there we go it is justin right now yeah <laughs> Blue, bluefin employee edition yeah great <laughs> We got, we got, we got, some, we got some looks when we took this picture. So, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's sure. Want, uh... Someone dressed as Dancing Girl Leia goes up there. No one takes any questions. They take a million pictures. <laughs> Justin goes up there, like hiding their kids' eyes, like we're getting out of here. <laughs> Family show. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That was a fun uh, time. Yeah. But Clayton, uh, the, the main show does go into the Marvel world. You know, we do have Marvel mm -hmm. main show figures. The Minga realization figures. You know, we got people like Wolverine, Deadpool, Captain America, Iron Man, War Machine, uh, Spider Man, both red and black. Um, mm -hmm. It'd be hard, be hard pressed to find the red one, but uh, if you do, it's a, uh, it's pretty incredible. His webs are like grappling hooks. So yeah, yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty hot. <laughs> uh, well, that's a, that's an interesting question. Where would you like to see the May Show go? You know, if you could pick any franchise that's not Common Rider. I'm just kidding. It can be common. Right? And so, <laughs> so I just know that that's your life over there, uh, David. What would what franchise would you love to see Mishawized? Well, I was gonna say Common Rider, but you now can still say Common Rider. <laughs> okay, they already, they already kind of look like Mishaw. They got, they got the helmets and they. Got... Uh, no, I think I uh, just to challenge them. I like to see some Gundam Mishaw somehow make it work. Mm. I think that'd be pretty cool. Like no, I, either the the mechas themselves or the characters from there. I think it would be pretty cool. Yeah, look at that, look at that detail. <laughs> I mean, uh, when, when we when we first unboxed it, you know, obviously the helmet strikes you right now, right away with those like uh, the rivets and stuff like that. But the hands really got me. Like his left hand has so much detail, and it's so like I don't want to use the word gnarled, but it's 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 seen stuff. <laughs> yeah, <Right. laughs> and, uh, weathered. Yeah, it's weathered, and uh, it's just it's just so cool. So. So AJ, Gundam's off the table. Who would you like to see join the May Show World? What 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 property? Well, so since we also have the Marvel line, I would like to see their take on the DC universe as well. You know, we'll mm. see how they would handle like a Superman, uh, how they would handle Batman for sure. You know, that stuff would be really interesting, considering you know there was that uh, that Batman uh, movie mm -hmm. that had come out. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. We have figures for that, the Ninja Batman. We do. Stuff. So yeah, that's Doom, cool for their take. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. He's terrifying. Yeah, they have yeah. plenty of villains they can pick from there as well. I, I would love a Dawn Breaker Batman made show. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just want an accessories lineup, you know, just for the Batman. <laughs> it's like, oh, you don't get Batman yet. You get all his accessories first. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be a, that'd be a big line of just the accessories. He's got yeah. a lot. <laughs> What about you, Justin? Who would you like to see, uh, you know, turn into a main show line? And in the chat, let us know who you want to see in the main show. Line. Oh man! Oh, they I'll, are letting us know. <laughs> I, I would go. I would go full on main show King of the Hill figures. I think that would be <laughs> amazing. I didn't know I wanted that until right now. <laughs> oh man, Hank so bad Hill ass. with his uh, main show propane tank. Yep, and like oh, Alamo beer colors. Oh, and, oh, like main show flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> Pocket sand. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Which I have, by the way, handy dandy. I always have my pocket sand ready to go. Oh know. my goodness. Hey, you never right. know. <laughs> uh, a, lot of, a lot of fans are saying Turtles, Robocop, uh, and then uh, Mike's Monsters were saying horror movie characters. So that's kind of interesting, Ooh. you know? Yeah. Horror if they weren't scary characters. enough already. <laughs> <laughs> now, now they have armor. Yeah. <laughs> like, like them. A, Freddy May show or Jason May show? That'd be mm -hmm. terrifying. Texas yeah. Chainsaw Massacre May oh. show? Oof. Oh, I mean, if we're talking like horror, I would like Pyramid Head May show then. Yeah. From uh, yeah. Hill too. He's already yeah. a May show in his own yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> he had more armor on him, making him slower. <laughs> Great. Now you see the light on. Um, you know, I'm, uh, I, I was going to say DC. Um, but, uh, We're just DJ all stealing and... each other's answers today. That's crazy. Uh, you know, I'm a big Dragon Ball guy. Uh, you know, that's the obvious answer for anime is Dragon Ball. And it's not just because I'm staring at a wall of Dragon Ball stuff. That's not, <laughs> that definitely did influence me. Um, but, you know, there, there are a lot of anime properties that, that, could, that could be really cool. And have, they don't have to have the whole line. Maybe just like one offs, you know, kind of like how uh, Imagination Works from Tomashi Nations is doing. Like the first figure is Goku, the second figure is going to be Luffy to where. That line is gonna, you know, kind of touch on some of the main characters of anime. 
uh, it would be really cool, you know, if we just got like a Goku and then we got, you know, a Luffy and then we got, you know, insert character from this other show. Naruto. Kind of fun. Naruto, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Naruto. Not Quaid says Ghostbusters. Now that yeah. would be really interesting. <laughs> yeah, they, they they could have like their vehicle too. Oh man, that could be its own thing. <laughs> I mean, can we trust anyone named Not Quaid? I'm, I'm thinking he. I think he might be Quaid. Right, <laughs> mm, but it does say Not Quaid. So it's Hauser. <laughs> it's not Quaid. It's Hauser. Yeah. <laughs> Two weeks. <laughs> We have we have a Quaid and Bluefin. Maybe that's our Quaid. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. yeah he's Dennis trying Quaid to... wants coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Um, I, I guess we would be doing a disservice to the Mandalorian if we didn't talk about the show that inspired it and all of the love it has been given. Um, we've all watched it. Let's go top to bottom. AJ, you've watched all the Mandalorian, right? Yep. Okay, just making sure. We didn't, we didn't <laughs> want to have to boot you off a top square in the oblivion. Uh, you know, what, you know, the, Mandal the Mandalorian is obviously the titular character, but there are so many other characters in the Mandalorian. Who is your favorite character in the show? And what is your favorite moment from the show? There will be spoilers, people. So if for some reason you're watching a, a Mandalorian themed live stream and haven't seen the Mandalorian, you're either going to get spoiled or you need to get out. Yeah, you know you don't want to uh, you don't want to get the spoilers from here, but uh, as far as characters go, I know he doesn't do too much. But Carl Weathers' character, you know, as soon as I saw him, I'm like, isn't that Carl Weathers? I'm like, all right, <laughs> I like whatever character you're gonna play just because I haven't seen you in forever. Yeah. You know, brief um, cargo. Yeah, I think even in recent one like uh, is it Bill Burr? Like, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, he's yeah, Mayfield. Yeah, like, like you know, I was like. That was really cool. Like I like his character a lot as well. Yeah, mm. Carl Weather. Carl Weathers was a nice like surprise when they announced the cast, and it's like mm -hmm. it's gonna be about the Mandalorian. It's gonna star uh, Gina Carano, Pedro Pascual, and Carl Weathers. I'm like, what? Paul Creed gonna be in this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, ooh, Paul Creed's gonna be in this. <laughs> and he directed uh, an episode as well, I think. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, he directed the, the season two episode where uh, they. Um, Escape from that like cloning facility. Yeah, it's with him and uh, Gina Carano. Uh, Justin, you're next in line. What is uh, what is your favorite character in the in the Mandalorian, and what was your favorite scene? And I bet sure. I know what it is. Uh, well, yeah. So <laughs> I could cheat and just say, you know, that Skywalker guy, and, <laughs> and talk about how I cried and I was like freaking out and just screaming and sitting in a puddle of my own pee as the episode was playing out. <laughs> Um, but if, if I can't, if that's a cop out and a cheat, then, uh, I would say that I definitely dug, um, the Bill Burr's character as Mayfield, mm -hmm. uh, especially in chapter 15, uh, I think it's called the believer, uh, that whole sit down scene where we really get to see him as a human and how he was not, uh, excited about the idea of killing people. And he was, um, you know, very conflicted. And, um, I thought that was great. I, I dug that whole episode from start to finish. Probably my my favorite non Luke episode of the Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to not Luke. Yeah, there, was, there was a lot of funny moments between when him interacting with Pedro Pascual with that helmet on, and then at the end, you know, he did the ultimate like like cool guy move, like I didn't see anything, whatever. Right. Put the helmet back on. Right, and that's another thing too is um you know someone pointed out uh, it was on you know the the internets that that uh, Pedro Pascual was actually just moving his body as if he was still wearing his helmet, even though it was off, just because it's all he's ever known. You know, it was mm -hmm. really great to see uh, that how dedicated he was to that, just that role and, and not slipping in any uh, aspects whatsoever. It's incredible. Yeah. All right, Dave, who is your favorite character from The Mandalorian and favorite moment from the series? Well, my favorite character it was, it was going to be Bill Burr's. Uh, character. Okay. We got three <laughs> Bill Burr fans. Yeah, so wild, so thanks for, for that. Uh, my my backup character. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Thank you, I remember that forever. No, um, I think my, 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 my favorite character has uh, is, is got to be out in second place would be Boba Fett. Uh, because like he was always hyped up like in like the original series, like the, the original three movies. Uh, and like I always thought he was cool. But never got to see him be cool, and then he got to kind of let loose and just kill a bunch of people. In this <laughs> so 
it was really awesome to see that. And I, I, I'm digging the whole like his armor over like the like the, the black outfit. I'm, yeah, like, that was a really cool design. I need to build that immediately. So, like, that <laughs> someone, was, someone did say that would be a really cool May show, and I 100 percent agree. I would yeah. love to see uh, yeah. that version of Boba Fett get a May yeah. show as well. He took the time yeah. to put his armor up too, so it, it, it looks fresh. Oh man, it was mm-hmm. right. But, yeah. I, I love the way he took the gaffy stick and just beating the heck out of stormtroopers, and like their <laughs> helmets are just shattering, and like and he right. takes it just stabs through the guy. I'm like, oh my god, Bubba Fett's cool again. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. No, I, I, I like that. And my, my favorite moment though, which like I, I I did my best to stay away from any spoilers, any announcements, because you know we always get spoiled on a lot of things working in this line of work. So I wanted to be regular for one. <laughs> and so when 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 Bo Katan said Ahsoka Tano's name for the first time in live action, like I didn't cry, but like it was like it was an emotional experience. So <laughs> I'm like, yo, this is happening. So I tried my best to want to hear any announcements of casting. And so when I saw that, I was actually legitimately surprised. So sure. I was very happy. <laughs> and and so, Rosario Dawson just crushed it with yeah. um, mm-hmm. you know the role and even that whole beginning where it was all dark and you just see her sabers just murdering people in the fog yeah. that was so cool it had a lot of horror aspects to it and right. you see they were genuinely scared they're like oh crap yeah. we're gonna die any second now <laughs> her fight her fight with mando like he's, he's like oh yeah i got this no no you yeah. don't <laughs> right that was a really good fight too like yeah i think that episode in general was like it was good character development, and then at the same time, oh wow, Ahsoka's back! <laughs> like you know, that was something I wanted to see outside of you know Clone uh, Clone Wars and everything like that. Right, and it was cool. Not only did he name drop her, he was like, "You need to go visit this person." Like, oh my god, he's gonna go, and we're gonna see us. <laughs> it's, it's not just like a random, just like name drop. It's like, uh huh, this is gonna happen. Yeah, no, but it, it it was it was really cool. I was happy. I like. I like all the memes that have come out recently about Ahsoka and like the makeup or Rosario Dawson and the makeup chair getting ready for Ahsoka. And there's one scene where she's in full makeup. She's looking down at her phone, like texting, uh, ready, waiting to go on set. And the meme is like, what Ahsoka was doing during episodes four through six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. Have you seen the Boba Fett meme where he's, uh, he has like the little hologram where, where he was showing his DNA? <laughs> they put out like, behold, holographic Charizard. <laughs> yeah. I've seen that one. I love that. Movie. <laughs> oh man, this season was really good. It was yeah. just like, nonstop amazingness. So my favorite character, I'm going to save for my favorite moment because it's kind of a cop out. But uh, if I had to pick a character that hasn't been selected, that's not you, know, Baby Yoda, one of the main characters and stuff like that, uh, I'm going to go with Cobb Cobb Vance from the first yeah. episode of season two. Timothy Oliphant is one of my favorite actors, and Man, he rocked that Boba Fett armor, and there's so many memes about how beautiful he is. Like, it was showed like Pedro Pascual without his helmet, his hair's all matted and sweated and gross, and, <laughs> right. and this shows like Boba Fett, and he's all scarred and bald, and then this two of the elephant right takes his got perfect hair, he's just an Adonis, beautiful, <laughs> right? It's so funny. Uh, and, and, and he walks with the swagger. He's got like the uh-huh. cowboy swagger, the going cowboy on. walk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, he was honorable. He didn't try to to to, to double cross the Mandalorian. You know, he made an agreement. They did it. You know, he fought heroically, and he just gave the armor up. And uh, so, so I really loved his character, and I really, really want to see more of Cobb Fan. Uh, I actually had made a, a tweet that didn't age well. You know, as soon as episode one came out, and we saw like the two seconds of Boba Fett at the end of episode one, uh, I, I put out a tweet like, "I would rather see more Cobb than any Boba Fett at all." And uh, like two episodes later, I was proven that that tweet was very incorrect. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> because because uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do two moments because I just this one just triggered that one. The second he puts um, he puts the Mandalorian puts Grogu on that little stone on the planet, and mm-hmm. you hear and see Slave One come in. I'm like, oh yeah, oh because at that point we're like, are we gonna see more Boba Fett or is this gonna be something they're gonna tell in a side story? When I saw that and you know I'm like, oh it's gonna happen. Mando versus versus Boba Fett, they're going to go at it. And I just loved every second of it. And uh, as soon as he looks up at the Razor Crest and he knows his armor is in there, I'm like, oh. Yeah, you do. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then the whole time where, where Fennec Shen and the Mandalorian are like fighting off the Stormtroopers, you know, everyone knows that Boba Fett's going to come save the day. It's, it's, it couldn't have been choreographed more. And I, I, I'm like, it's going to happen, but it's going to be great. And all of a sudden, he comes in, and he's firing his knee darts, his flamethrower, his missile. He's using everything in his arsenal, which was kind of the 
kind of the wrap on him in uh, the original trilogy. He's got all these cool toys, but he never used any of them. Mm-hmm. Right. right. He used his jetpack once, and then he fell into a <laughs> right. bang and ground. <laughs> he hadn't used it for so long that it, it didn't work. <laughs> it was like misfire. <laughs> And the Mandalorian, you see that thing fire off like four times. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but my 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 actual favorite moment. So my favorite character is Admiral Akbar. Um, but a very very close second, if not a one B situation, is Grand Admiral Thrawn. And when he was named, when, when his Sokatana yeah. said his name, I was like 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 it was aside from the ending of season two with the Skywalker moments, it was the most like <gasps> Thrawn is because, coming. Yeah, yeah. Thrawn. Oh my god, I was so pumped. So, give me Thrawn, any Thrawn, all Thrawns. I'll take them all. They're they're my yeah. Favorite, so now, this season was was crazy. Like I did not expect the Razor Crest to go like that. <laughs> like, right. I'm, oh, it's over. Oh, oh, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even the chat, like you know, Chris Cooper, Rip Razor Crest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have, just, we have a buddy that uh, that bought one or two. He might have gotten two yeah, off two. of uh, Haslab. <laughs> the crowdfunding thing. We're like, ooh, sorry, guy. <laughs> and the crowdfunding like ended like two days before the episode where it got destroyed. I'm like, oh, ooh, Randy, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got two of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. sad face. Someone's mm. asking, uh, Lil Legend Seven Six Nine is asking, how much longer does the Macho Mando have for pre-order? Ooh, oh. ooh. Well, uh, I, they haven't announced officially when it's going to close, but uh, I can tell you with uh, with no insider information that uh, it will be closing relatively soon. So, if uh, if you're ready and you have the funds available, now would be a good time to open it. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that they're going to give us plenty of time so we can make an official announcement like, hey, two weeks left and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, sometimes these items do sell out. You know, they are limited quantities. You know, they are made to order, but they do have a cap of what they're going to make. You know, a lot of people see that with our hobby products. You know, we put a gun, we put, you know, a mm-hmm. hobby model up there and it's gone within like an hour. Uh, yeah. So so hopefully the Mandal, usually the Tomashi items would get higher quantities than the hobby kits. Uh, so... We'll try to give you as much notice as possible as soon as we know and we can say. Um, but you know, don't sleep on it. If, if, if it's something you're looking to get, just do it. You won't. You right. won't regret it. No, and uh, premium Bandai does charge you when you check out. You are charged at the moment of checkout. Yes. Mm-hmm. But cloth cake, remember? Yes. Oh, there you go. Mixed media. <laughs> it, it works. It looks good. Yeah, it does. It really, it really adds to the figure, and it's just you know. The you know the the other the you know the, your plastic and your vinyl capes they look it they look good you know when they're posed and stuff like that but there's just something something different about a, a cape that like moves in the wind. Sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, Chris Chris Cooper yeah. says that he wants um, Cumberbatch to play Thrawn. Have you given any thought, David, since he's one of your favorite characters, of which actor you would like to see take on that role? So there's been a lot of names thrown out there, you know, uh, Cumberbatch, you know, that that's always good. Um, Richard E. Grant, because a lot of people thought he was going to play him in R- R- Rise of Sky. Is that right? Yeah, Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> Couldn't remember the R word before Skywalker. <laughs> um, uh, you know, I'm happy with all of those. Um, you know, so, someone like a Ben Mendelsohn, I know he's already in the Star Wars universe and would not play it, but uh, I'm in love with Ben Mendelsohn. And so uh, if he were to do it, I'd be happy. Uh, but yeah, Cumberbatch would be fantastic. Yeah, I, I like Mark Strong. I'm partial to him. I want him to be in Star Wars in some capacity. <laughs> he's like yeah. one of my favorite actors. And even I don't care if he's a good guy or a bad guy. He's an awesome bad guy, but it's cool when you see him as a good guy every once in a while. Yeah, like in <laughs> like in Kingsman, he's a good guy. Kingsman. Kingsman. Yeah, he's great in Kingsman. Yeah. Or like Jason Isaacs. I think Jason Isaacs is really great too. I think he would be cool. But... He's so mean. He's so evil. Mm-hmm. I've never met the guy, but I'm afraid of him. Right. <laughs> Like he just plays such terrifying characters. Like, like all I, can, I, I still all I can see when I see him is like him from like the Patriot, that Mel Gibson movie, where he's like the evil like British officer, and he's just so yeah. terrible. And uh, you know, then obviously he was he was he was Malfoy. He was uh, yeah, Lucius Malfoy. Was, Lucius Malfoy. I couldn't think of his name. And uh, but then I also uh, recently watched all of Star Trek Discovery, and he's the captain for the first season, and he's just <laughs> so great. And I'm like. I'm like, okay, maybe he's good. There, there may or may not be a twist later on, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, but uh, Jason Isaacs would be a fantastic pick for, for Thrawn because he has that uh, – Thrawn has to have that aura, that, like, that, rego- that, that, that regality of him. You know, people right. have to respect him, and he's got to have a presence, even though he's not 
It's not a force wielder. He's not a stormtrooper. He doesn't have all this armor and this weapon. You know, much like Tarkin, his wits and his ability to command people is, right. is what makes him such a great person. And you know, Thrawn obviously you know thrives on studying people's art and uh, you know uh, isolating their weaknesses based off of you know, their art and how they think and stuff like that. So, just, so I can draw stick figures. What's my weakness? Oh, he would he, he, he would know that he was not. Uh, you didn't know worry about that guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I'm really glad you get, get to live. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it has to do with spatial thinking. So you know he'll see he'll see an alien species, he'll identify their work and realize, oh, they think this is how they think. So let's just do this, and you know. Gotcha. Yeah, he's a, he's an amazing character. So um, that's all is I got. He, is I he ever wrong? Is he ever wrong, or is he always right? Uh, I mean, he's wrong in his choice of bodyguard in the Thrawn trilogy. You know, from oh. he's on, he's got a bodyguard who he trusts with his life and. Spoiler alert from the book from like 93. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work out. That was his one Achilles heel. Was he had this killer super assassin as a bodyguard, and then once that assassin realized, oh wait, Thrawn's Thrawn's the bad guy? Oh shoot, I gotta <laughs> bad <Daddy> staff. <Sure. laughs> um, but any parting words on Mandalorian from anybody? Can't wait. Ready for more. Bring it. Yeah. yeah. No, that's how you do it. Really good. Awesome. <laughs> it is fantastic. So thanks everyone for joining us for our Bluefin Hangout. We're going to do these every Friday. If you have an idea for a show you want to do, you know, drop it in the comments. We'd love to hear about it. And also, I'm thinking we need a name for the studio. Like, like Bluefin Studio just sounds too formal. You know, mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, it used to be like some kind of lair or a dungeon or something, <laughs> something, something cool. So, so if you guys got any ideas on what we should call this bad boy, you know, let us know. Eventually, all four of us will be in the same place at once. You know, hopefully in a couple months, you know. The world will resume some form of normalcy, and we can all be together, and we can all we can all shake hands and hug and like be right shoulder to shoulder with each other, like in a convention. But uh, until that time, it's just going to be one of us here, and it's usually me because I think I me or AJ because we live the closest. So. Right. <laughs> we, we got a, We got a journey. <laughs> we, I gotta like pack a sack lunch if I want to go into the office. When I come back, my entire family is different. Yeah. <laughs> well, usually when I'm here with Justin, he'll text me when he gets home. And I, uh, I usually have sat here and done, done like 30 minutes of work in the office, <laughs> driven home, did played with my kids, did something, and then I get a text, home. I'm like, oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Clayton says the tuna can. Hmm. The tuna can. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I mean, because it is me. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. I see what you did there. Uh-huh. It's clever. Um, but yeah, so until next time, uh, like I said, join us every Friday. Uh, next Friday, we'll have a prize to give away during our live stream. Maybe we'll try to do like in every other one uh, where we give something away to the people in the live stream for being such amazing fans and followers. Make sure to keep up with us at Bluefin Brands, at Tamashi Nations. Uh, we just put up a video on at Tamashi Nations uh, Facebook and Twitter, uh, a very close up unboxing of the May Show uh, Mandalorian. If you haven't heard me talk enough today, I'm talking on that one too. So if uh, you need like a palate cleanser, Justin's doing a ton of nano block videos. We got some cool product reveals coming from Mr. Clark on the channel in the near future. Uh, and uh, yeah, so until next time, have a great day, guys, and an amazing weekend. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. You are.